Greetings, Highlander family. My name is Oswaldo Navarro, currently an industry outreach specialist and the work study coordinator for the UCR Career Center. Welcome to the 2021 academic school year. This webinar will give you a step-by-step -step process on how to use your work study, but also the benefits of using your work study, how to apply for a work study job, and how to get hired and paid. Do you have work study? If you have work study, there's five simple steps. Step one, log into your R web. Step two, go to financial aid. Step three, click on award, then award for aid year. Step four, click accept award offer tab. Step five, accept work study award. What is work study? Work study is a program funded by the federal government. You can obtain a work study award on and off campus. Work study award does not have to be repaid. What are the benefits of using your work study? It helps with your educational expenses, flexible hours, gain experience skills in your network. The timeline for the 2021 academic school year. On September 8th, students can start to view and apply to all work study positions. Starting on September 20th, students may begin to work up to 20 hours per week. During the winter and spring recess, students have the ability to work up to 39 hours. Winter recess will be from December 21st, 2020 to January 1st, 2021. Spring recess will be from March 22nd to March 26, 2021. The end for all federal work study positions will be on June 11th, 2021. Work study reminders. Work study does not entitle you to a job. Jobs are highly competitive. They are real jobs. Show up on time, be courteous, and act responsibly. Do not surf the internet, make personal phone calls, text, or study while on the clock. Work study infographic. This infographic is a step-by-step -step process on how to search for a job, and you can simply find it on careers.ucr.edu by simply searching work study infographic and this is a PDF that will allow you to be downloaded and give you a step-by-step -step process on how to search for a job via Handshake. Where do you search for the all work-study jobs? All job postings will be on Handshake. Once you log into your Handshake account, you will click on Jobs, then click on All Filters. One of the options in the all filters is work study. Once you click work study, you will see the option below that says show results. Once you show all the results, all on and off campus positions will be posted on, on the job board via Handshake. Just a reminder, all resumes must be uploaded onto Handshake in order for you to apply for a federal work study position. Some resume tips in one page include your contact information, your education, your work experience, your skills, your activities, honors, and awards. Attend a, a virtual resume building workshop offered by the Career Center, or simply schedule an appointment with the career counselor before uploading onto Handshake to be critiqued and give you insight on how to enhance your resume. The types of appointments offered with the, the counseling department at the Career Center. Virtual counseling appointments are in-depth sessions that professional counselors offer during regular office hours. You must request an appointment via the UCR handshake and go to the Career Center tab to request an appointment with your counselor. The second option is a virtual drop-in. These are 10 minute or less in duration. You can sign up again via Handshake. 
only one drop-in appointment permitted per day. The third option is an interview critique and, and practice appointments. These are one hour long sessions that can be scheduled to practice interviewing with a counselor and receive feedback to prepare for an upcoming interview. There's also a mock interview tool in Handshake under the tab marked resources. Steps four and five, get interviewed and get hired. During the get, getting interviewed section, have your 2021 federal work study eligibility notification ready for your scheduled interview and be ready to share this with the employer. Be prepared and be on time for your interview. And step five, get hired. Once hired, you're going to follow the, the following steps, whether it be on or off campus positions. Some interview tips, dress appropriately, Read the description and prepare questions. Maintain, maintain eye contact. Be on time. Follow up with a thank you email. Some interviews might be in person or virtual. Depending on the employer, you will receive an email stating whether the interview is in person or via uh, Zoom. As stated before, you must bring your federal work study eligibility notification to your interview. This is a sample of how the document will look. Getting hired on campus. Fill out the work study new hire form found on the career or financial aid website to initiate the work study student employment process. You will need to attach a copy of your job description and your 2021 federal work study eligibility notification. You are responsible for tracking your work hours and submitting your biweekly timesheets to your manager. When getting hired off campus, fill out the work study new hire form and upload a copy of your job description from Handshake. The form is available on the Career Center or financial aid website to initiate the work study employment process. Once completed, you will receive a work study student employment contract via an email from DocuSign. Once received, fill out all required and electronically sign and date your work study employment contract. You will also need to upload a copy of your 2021 federal work study eligibility notification. Complete your onboarding documents via DocuSign. You'll get an email with these documents, fill out and electronically sign and date. The letter of clearance will be emailed to your employer authorizing you to start working. This step may take up to 15 days. Timesheets. You are responsible to track your own hours. Please do not exceed your award allocation. Example, if you are awarded $1,500 for your federal work study award and, you, and your job is currently paying at $15 an hour, that equals to 100 hours of work. Please keep track of your hours and make sure that you do not exceed the amount that you are awarded. You'll be paid biweekly. On campus, speak with your employer regarding the procedures and deadlines. And if you are hired with an off-campus employer, you will receive additional instructions. Financial aid overview. Email the financial aid office for the following if you have questions regarding your work study eligibility, any reward adjustments, timesheet questions you can simply email finaid at ucr.edu. Reminders, sign up for direct deposit in our web. All paychecks are mailed to the local address in our web. Since you have qualified for the federal work study program, you are eligible to qualify for the CalFresh. CalFresh has all the options for basic needs. It is 
important that you email ucrcalfresh at ucr.edu to see if you qualify for this program. A CalFresh advisor will contact you and help you step by step on how to apply for CalFresh. Also, loan to learn. If you are having difficulty or your job requires you to have technology, UCR offers the Loan to Learn program. You can find this at its.ucr.edu forward slash loan to learn. Simply fill out the application and follow the step by step process. Once your application is submitted, a member from the IT department will contact you and give you additional instructions on how to proceed on borrowing technology from UCR. Know your dough. Wages. Gross wages are how much you make before deductions are taken out. Your net pay is your take home pay gross minus all the deductions. Your W-4. Forms that tell employers how much money to take out per paycheck to go towards taxes. W-2, a form that records gross wages and amounts taken out for taxes. You can get this in January for the prior year's wages. Workshops, all financial wellness workshops will be offered through go.ucr.edu forward slash finwell or follow UCR finwell on Instagram for additional information regarding the workshops. Career Center. Schedule a virtual appointment with a career counselor or attend a virtual drop-in for job search assistance, interview prep, resume and cover letters. Also, you can attend virtual skill building workshops throughout the fall, winter and spring quarter. All of these are, are located at careers.ucr.edu. Also, beware of job fraud. Job fraud has been on the rise due to the current pandemic. If a job is asking you to shop for them, to send them money, or the job simply sounds too good to be true, please be aware that job fraud is on the rise. If they do not want to meet in person and they can't verify the information, please contact UCR's Career Center at careers.ucr.edu or contact your career counselor to inform us and we can guide you to see how to avoid job fraud. Lastly, the UCR Career Center has virtual hours Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. Virtual drop-in hours are Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And Fridays from 10 to 12 p.m. Who to contact? If you have any questions regarding your federal work study, please contact finaid at ucr.edu for any assistance with your work study eligibility allocation adjustments, letter of clearance, paycheck, or timesheet issues. Contact the Career Center at careerrecruiting at ucr.edu for help with job search assistance, work study job applications, and drop-in counseling. Lastly, connect with us. We are on all social media platforms where we announce all of our virtual events, whether it be from a skill building workshop, to our virtual career fairs. Please be on the lookout by following us, bookmark us and like us and share us on, on all social media platforms. And once again, thank you. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach us. Have a great semester. And once again, congratulations and welcome to the 2021 academic school year.